Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, everyone. I just got back in the house once again. Hold on just a second, y'all. I'm a coming. I guess you say it's always something when I came up here. But I just got in the house, and I, I think that I'm ready, but I'm not. Forgive me. Okay. I just didn't want anything playing crazy in the background on my TV because usually, you know, like when I go out, I usually have my television on. I don't turn it off simply because, well, you know, partially because of the neighborhood that I live in. And then sometimes, you know, I, I be wanting people to think that I'm home. Or that, you know, I just now they know. <laughs> I done told it. Oh, my lips are dry, y'all. I was out there. And, you know, like I said before, uh, yesterday, I think it was when I went out. And my hands are still cold. I put my, um, I had my gloves on. You know, the little wool gloves that I bought, I think, for a dollar or something like that. Or a dollar ninety nine or something like that. But I don't understand any other time I'm out, my hands are not cold like this. But I went quite a ways. Because I went and got me some, uh, matter of fact, I put my little dinner, I put my little dinner in the oven that I got, that I bought. And let me show you what it is. I've got, I've never had this before. It's called, it's a little entree, actually. It's, uh, it says, Stouffer's, I mean, Stouffer's Salisbury Steak. Now, I've had the Salisbury Steak before, but it was by Encore. And so, and it's got a little bit of mac and cheese like that. It's got like a, a little tray that's, you know, divided in half. One side, it has the little Salisbury steak. And then on the other side, on the other divider, it's divided. You know, there's, the tray is like a divider in between. And then they have the uh, mac and cheese on the other side. I said, well, let me try it. I got it at, uh, yeah, Walgreens. Because I had went there to get the stuff for my hair from Walgreens. And that's why I'm so cold, because I went quite a ways. You know, I'm thinking like, any other time I go to Walgreens, it seemed like it didn't seem like it was that far. But today, it seemed like it was forever. But anyway, I got my hands uh, sort of warmed up by now. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, they, I'm warming up now, but my heat seems like it don't want to come on, so I may have to turn the heater on before I get warmed up. So how's everybody doing on this 15th day of Rockmas? 15th day, y'all. How many more days is left? Wait a minute, yesterday, did I say it was 11 days? 15. 10. 10 more days before Christmas, y'all. You've got 9 more shopping days. Get her done, y'all. You gotta get her done. Which me, I gotta get her done with the people down south, with my, you know, family that's down there. I gotta, <laughs> and I went right out and didn't get any money orders or anything. I was cold. And I wasn't thinking, I think Walgreens may have money orders. I'm not sure. Or I could send it pronto, you know, just like, I don't know if I could send it uh, because I don't have PayPal or anything. And my daughter was telling me to do PayPal. How, how do you do PayPal? I don't know. There's too much stuff in this uh, electronic world that I don't get. I don't know. Do I have to get my bank account? She said, just go over there and type in PayPal and apply for PayPal. Can you do it for me? <laughs> I, I'm serious. I, I get a little nervous and a little uh, bent out of shape sometimes when I'm trying to do those things. As a matter of fact, I got to call uh, my cable company. I'm having a problem with the cable. They're talking about I got a business. 
Is anybody out there that's on YouTube that your cable company is telling you you got a business and your phone bill, you got to pay more for your cable? Because talking about you got a business. I mean, you have no business. I'm not getting paid or some what that they talking about. I have a bill, matter of fact, I'm supposed to be calling those people before they shut the darn thing off. And the cable sucks anyway because it keeps buffering and stuff. And it takes me like forever to upload, you know. So I might change my cable company, even though, you know, even if it costs me more. Ever since they put this other modem in here, this thing over here. It just hasn't worked right, you know, the, uh, everything buffers, my phone buffers. Sometimes I'm playing videos back, it's buffer, buffering, you know, that's spinning and stuff. So it really is no good. And they call it fiber. And But I don't understand how they figure that, you know, my bill has got to be so much. I said, my goodness, I haven't even made no money. Talking about I got a business, I ain't got no business. I got a YouTube channel. It's not no business because I'm not getting any cash for it. I got some cash a couple of times and that was it because I'm not, you know, my, my channel is not making anything. And here they are jumping up here with this big bill talking about like, ah, I, I need to vent, y'all. I had to vent because every time I think about it and I said I got to, you know, make sure I get myself together before I call them. But I, I better do it soon before they turn it off. So I might call them after I get off here making the video. So how's everybody doing this afternoon? It's supposed to be, I think it was 40-some degrees, but it was a little chilly to me. And then tomorrow they said it's going to be even better. It's going to be in the 50s. I said I should have waited until tomorrow. But I'm looking on the bright side. I'm glad I got it done, you know, because I needed the stuff for my hair. And uh, I got to do my hair. Uh, got my appointment on Monday, so I want to get that done before Monday. And so today is Friday. You know, actually, I woke up thinking that today was Thursday. But then I said, it's Friday. And I golly. Now, so let me get on out here and get this. Because when I went to the store the other day, I was looking for, you know, I had, when I went out the other day, I was looking for the um, the, the uh, Blue Magic for my hair. I like to use Blue Magic. Some people hate Blue Magic, but I, I kind of like it. I don't use that much anyway. Usually just when I wash my hair that I got to, you know, put something on my hair. And so I got it. Uh, the last time I went out, I did, they didn't have it where I went. And so I said, okay, Walgreens got it. And Walgreens didn't have but two, I think it was, two jars. I said, I must be the only one that's using it. <laughs> but I got coconut oil in there, you know. But coconut oil, it just, I don't know. I, I'm like, it's my blue magic, too. But I like the blue, blue mat. Let me show you what I'm talking about, y'all. Yeah. Ah, face, face. Yeah, I bought me some. Oh, I bought me some chips too. I know I shouldn't have. I know I shouldn't have. This is what I'm talking about. It only costs two dollars and ninety nine cents. But the one on uh, Amazon was very expensive. I said, uh, uh. -huh. This stuff. I'm the only one that's using this stuff. So therefore, you know. But anyway, this will last me for a year or better. Because I don't, like I said, I don't use a whole bunch of product on my hair. Yeah, that's it. Got me some more gum so I could chew. But if you notice, I don't have gum in my mouth today. I said I was going to stop doing that up here on the YouTube. You know, and, and while I'm talking on the YouTube. And so, I just got that for myself. For the terrible taste that's in my mouth all the time. Uh, let's see here. I didn't spend a lot of money. I didn't, did not. 28. 28 bucks of Walgreens. Well, you know, with the food and everything. It's 20, uh, 10 to $28, I think it was. 
and this gum is so hot. And you know what? I find you can't find this everywhere either. I wonder what's going on with that. Are they discontinuing? But I happened to see it at Walgreens today. And so I said, okay, get me some. I'm stacking up. So I got the peppermint. I got the polar ice. And I got the spearmint. So I'm good. I'm good for a while. And I said, uh, uh, that's about it, y'all. Until tomorrow. What? Oh my goodness, y'all. I didn't know that Salisbury State College, but I was at Walgreens. $6.49. Huh? That little entree shouldn't have been no more than about a dollar and something. $2 max. Oh my goodness. If I hadn't opened it, I would. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take it back. Not way, not way over there. But you know, I just had never seen it before because I very seldom buy. Uh, little entrees like that, frozen food, and um, I don't feel like cooking, but I had some potatoes that I had cooked this morning that I could eat, you know, for lunch, but, it's, but I'm getting ready to eat lunch. I'm thinking, I want something to eat right now, and so that's why I bought that, but I got it in my conventional oven, which takes three or four times longer than to do in the microwave. I ain't that crazy about microwave heating up stuff because it seems like when you heat it up in the microwave, it doesn't stay hot that long. Not in my book. Maybe in somebody else's book it does. If you ever notice that when you heat food up in the microwave, it does not stay hot, as hot as it does in your conventional oven. It get yeah, hot now. You must have to eat real fast. You know, you got to, <laughs> if you want it to last, if you want it to stay hot to the bitter end, you have got to eat it fast. Or maybe I'm not heating it up long enough. Maybe that's the problem. But I notice, like, you know, even my cooked food, when I'm cooking, uh, sometimes I, you know, reheat my potatoes that I fry because I cook more than I'm going to, you know, normally eat at one setting. So I'm heated up later. And I can hear it frying in the microwave, you know, and the smoke's coming up out of there when I, you know, the steam, I guess it's steam or smoke or whatever, you know, that, that comes up when you're um, heating it up in the microwave. And then... It gets cold before I finish eating it. That's my story, y'all. And I'm getting ready to take my clothes off. My feet did not get cold. But I can feel that they're swollen. So I got to take it easy on the salt and stuff. Let's see how much salt this thing got in it. Bear with me, y'all. Because I need a nap, believe me. Ah. Uh, 310 calories. Wow. That jumped right out there. Look at that. 310 calories. For this little thing. Sodium. That's my whole day of sodium. No, well, almost. Because I think you can have 200. Well, no, not 200. 2,500 sodiums a day. So this one's got, I don't know if you can see it or not. 10, 10, 1,010 milligrams of sodium. Carbs, 10%. Well, it says sodium, 44%. I guess 44% of the daily requirements. But according to my thing, I'm only supposed to eat like 2,500 per day. But anyway, either way you slice it. It probably ain't gonna be good anyway. I probably will just probably eat some of it, and especially if that meat is tough. You know, I don't like tough meat because I can't chew it like that. I'm not gonna jibber jabber anymore, y'all. I'm getting ready to take these clothes off, get comfortable, because when I get ready to eat, I don't want to drop any gravy on this shirt, even though this shirt is about three or four years old. <laughs> but I still, I gotta take it off.
before my Salisbury steak yesterday. As a matter of fact, well, I don't think it's been in. Let me see how long have I been up here. 15 minutes. So I got probably maybe another 10 minutes because I didn't put it in as soon as I got here. See, I should have told the old girl over there to time it for me, and that way I would know. Because I think the whole thing was, uh, let me double check. I guess y'all said, my, I, I got some boring videos. Well, you know, I could tell by my, uh, let's see. Conventional oven, you know, if you put it in a regular oven, it's, uh, 35 minutes. So I probably got, now I've been up here 15 minutes, 35 minutes, so I probably got maybe, maybe another 20 minutes. Can't be. I put it in before I came up here. So maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 more minutes. I think this thing is fully cooked, so... Roasted patty made with beef topped with onions, mmm, and gravy with mac and cheese. No preservative. That, wait a minute, that's a plus, y'all. Yeah? That's a plus. No preservatives. How could they do that with no preservatives? Freeze right? I don't know, y'all. I don't know too much about that stuff. Just like I don't know nothing about technology. I don't know anything about that. But I got my... They had these. This little bag right here. They, they had two for $8. So I got one barbecue and one of those. Which I got to control myself on that. And on that note. On this 15th day of Vlogmas. How y'all feeling right about now? How is the old credit card? How's that old piece of plastic doing? It's still hanging in there? Oh my goodness. I say, you know, I used to break the bank for Christmas. Well, you know, when I had children. I really did. I, I used to try to make them happy. Except for uh, the one time that I was telling you about when I told them I was going to get, they were only going to get three presents or something like that for Christmas. But time was really, really tough right there. But I used to try to break the bank, and I used to normally break it. And I remember going to work just for Christmas. You know how they used to hire the Christmas help? I think they still do it in most places. They, you know, like Macy's was hiring. And um, I used to work at the, uh, in retail for Christmas if I didn't have a regular job at the time. Or either, you know, time out from having a baby, you know, because you can't work. So you go in there and, and you work for Christmas to get the Christmas, you know, uh, stuff for the children. And so I used to do that. I, 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 but one thing, I don't know how people can work for retail. I really don't know. And like a lot of people say, they don't know how I could have worked for an answering service, you know, for quite a few years. Because it really is kind of stressful when you got all these lines ringing at one time. But it only lasts for like, you know, when you're working at an answering service, it's the busy, it's the peak. Just like when the telephone operators, you, you know, used to be a certain time of the day, it would be a peak, you know, when all the calls flow in. And especially at an answering service, it would be like when the doctor's offices are opening or when they're closing, you know, whatever time they close and whatever time they open. Then, you know, you, the secretary or whoever calls in to pick up the messages to see if there's any messages and to let you know that they're in the office. That's when they're calling. But like I said, the retail is so boring. But I had one one place that I worked one Christmas in retail. It was uh, Mally's. I don't know. It, it was in uh, Connecticut. It was a uh, it was Mally company, and it was right across from Macy's. 
And they went out of business. I think Macy's put them out of business. But the only Macy's we have uh, is in, uh, I forgot this. I think it's out way out there in Meriden Mall. I think that's it. No, no, it ain't. There's one in the Milford Mall, Westfield. Hey, I'll tell you the truth. I don't get out that way or anywhere or close. I go uh, right around here or either, you know, like up in, uh, if my daughter is over, or I mean, if she comes this way, which is very seldom, you know, we might go stop somewhere. But other than that, I try to get what's convenient for me. And Macy's is not that convenient for me. I might order something from Macy's on the uh, line. You know, I go on the line and order something every once in a while. But everything that I order from Macy's online, you know, especially in the clothing line, it seems like it's too small for me. I may order, say for instance, if I wear a 1X, I order a 1X in Macy's. No, it's too small. But if I order that, uh, well, I had one time I had put on weight, and so I was going like into a 2X. I still have 2Xs in my closet right now in the coats, coats, jackets, 2 eight, two Xs, except the ones I bought from uh, Walmart. I think those are one. But Macy's, they be too small for the old girl, honey. And on that note, I shall see you again soon.